Hey y'all, what's up guys? Hope you're having a great week. I want to send this video to you guys and keep it short, but let you know some stuff coming up that I want you to know, some stuff I want you to do. Man, this Sunday I am so excited. We are kicking off a brand new series called This Is Complicated. If you've seen those videos, I just want to say thank you. I've seen so many of you guys sharing them and uh, that's amazing. And so just continue to do that, get the word out. Uh, through social media, like and share um, all the posts. And so we're kicking off a brand new series uh, about relationships, you know, and this series is for everybody. The series isn't just for people that are married, it's for people that, you know, have been in relationships but maybe aren't anymore, people that currently are in relationships, people that maybe one day want to get back into a relationship. And so this is going to be a big draw of a series. And so let's get the word out. It's a great opportunity to heat up the power of the invite. I know you guys are doing that, um, but I, I would wonder, like, are your volunteers doing that? Is it as hot to your people as it is to you? And because uh, the truth is this, you are, go you are the temperature gauge of your people. What's hot to you is hot to your team leaders, and what's hot to your team leaders it's hot to your volunteers, and it starts, with, it starts with us as the leaders of the campus. And so let's just continue to turn the heat up on the power of the invite. Get those out, and, uh, and let's not show up alone on Sunday. Let's bring people with us. And uh, so that's number one. Number two, uh, I got a phone call from Mr. Howell today from Navarre High School, and uh, he was letting me know that he's sorry, but the AC unit has, uh, has broken again in the cafeteria and so I checked the weather on Sunday. It's starting out pretty cold in the low 40s, but it's going to get up to the early 70s and, uh, and by Sunday afternoon. And so I've already lined it up with Tony. We're going to have some floor fans in there turned on low so it won't be too distracting, but just to keep some airflow in there. And so what I need you to do is I need you to pray, right? Pray, number one, that this is the opportunity that the school needs to replace the units altogether. And so that's going to be pricey, but God can do that. God can provide those funds. And so number one, pray that prayer. And then two, just pray that through however means they're able to fix the AC unit because you guys know it's been hot lately and uh, it's just going to get warmer as the summer kicks into gear. And so that's a big hot issue, no pun intended, for us as a campus. And then number three, last thing I want to share is this. I had the privilege today um, for being at a pinning ceremony for... Um, Matt Dillon, you guys know him from the campus and was taught, had an opportunity to connect with his dad. You know, his dad uh, was a pastor and just an incredible man of God. And he said something, you know, and it, it hit me like right between the eyes. You ever had that happen? You're talking to somebody and they say something and you're like, oh, I wasn't expecting that stuff right now. And, uh, but it did, I caught it and uh, it was so powerful. He said the simple phrase, he said, you know, the only thing that can limit God is us. And maybe you've heard that or a variation of that phrase before, you know, but the only thing that can limit God is us. And I, I began just to hold on to that phrase again, you know, and I began just to, just to meditate on that the rest of the day, you know, and I wonder what I am and what we are holding God back from doing. And so... I just encourage you, think through that, pray through that, bring that question to God and go, God, what is my faith holding you back from? Or better yet, what is my lack of faith preventing you from doing? And so God's done so much. And that question isn't to beat anybody up. It's not to, you know, put any shame or guilt on anybody, but it's just to ask a simple question. And, and I would encourage you, bring that question to God and say, God, what is my faith or lack thereof? holding you back from doing. God's done, God has done so much, but I have to ask, like, what more does God want to do? You know, we've seen, uh, we've seen God break 600 on a Sunday, but we got 840. We got 1,000. We got 2,000. And uh, more important than that, that's not just numbers. Those are souls. Those are people that need Jesus the same way you needed Jesus and still do. Love you. Can't wait for Sunday. We'll see you Sunday.